Okay, so we have to separate the branch string from the A gel here, which are on top of here. So we just shine a light here down the bottom here, and all the branch string will basically just be in the bottom. And we are using a rigid ear line, you can see here, with the ear holes here, and going down here. So all my branch string will be collected here, and I will not be able to collect any eggshell which we don't need so all right so this is my feeding jar i feed the bright stream here to my fish and this is still your breeding bottle so you can see here there's still some eggs in here that has not been hatched and there's also bright stream floating around here now what most people like to do is they fill this bottle back up with tap water plus a cream salt and then add some more brush trim in there and you just aerate the bottle back up again and just wait for the eggs to hatch again and you just suck them up into your feeding jar like we did before and doing this way you always have a constant supply of brush shrimp on hand and that way it also help hatch some of the eggs in here too now you always want to keep aeration on both of your bottle and what I let you do is just buy like a four way air valve here and that usually helps with my tanks and my jar here you can see 